After six years spent living as a stray, this missing cat recognized a face from her past. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. In 2018, a family in Carmel, Indiana found a scared black cat living under their shed. They started feeding her, and their neighbor shared a picture of her online to help reconnect her with her owner. Little did they know, the feline had been on the streets for six years, and she'd soon recognize someone from her life long ago. Once upon a time, Julie the black cat had been a pampered feline. Indiana resident John Gullah adopted Julie and her brother, Jack. The pair of pets were close, Gullah told Current. They used to cuddle, he recalled. They were two peas in a pod. But in 2012, the feline siblings would be unexpectedly separated. Early that year, Julie was at Gullah's mother's home in Carmel, Indiana, while Gullah was at college. And somehow, Julie got out of the abode. Understandably, Gullah's mother, Lorinda Roberts, said she felt terrible that the cat had escaped under her watch. She just ran and I couldn't find her. I was just beside myself, she recalled to Current. And upon noticing the cat was missing, she went on a search of the nearby area, but found nothing. Roberts and her son hung flyers throughout the neighborhood, but they never heard anything about Julie's whereabouts. Nonetheless, Roberts continued to look for the cat. But then, she received some scary news about her son's health. Just after Julie's disappearance, doctors told Gullah that he had lymphoma. And from that point on, Roberts admitted that her search for Julie was placed on the back burner while her son battled cancer. Still, the mom said she always held out hope that Julie would return home. Every once in a while you find that needle in a haystack, she stated. I was looking for a needle, not a piece of hay. In Julie's absence, life went on for both Roberts and her son. Over the course of six years, Gullah beat his cancer diagnosis, tied the knot with his girlfriend, and nabbed a new job. He ended up settling in Indianapolis with his wife. But in spite of all the changes in her son's life, Roberts still believed that maybe there was a 1% chance of Julie ever coming back. And in 2018, when she happened to see an online post about a found cat, she couldn't help but wonder if she'd finally landed upon that sliver of hope. The post on Pabu's Lost and Found Pets described a cat similar to Julie. A family had found a stray black cat under their shed. They said the feline was an older adult and that it appeared nervous. Of course, these were qualities likely shared by plenty of strays, and so Roberts wasn't entirely convinced that the cat was Julie. After all, there was no mention of her identifying feature, a patch of white fur on her belly. Nonetheless, her son went to the family's home in Carmel just in case. As Roberts recalled, he went and saw her and saw the little spot on her belly. Then, the cat moved towards Gullah. Although the family reported that the stray cat was too skittish to come near them, Roberts said, she went right to Gullah. She started purring. And that was the start of what became an amazing reunion. The woman who had originally posted about the found cat, Christine McKeon, was taken aback by the touching reunion. Gullah called her name and she came out and she came right to him, she said. According to McKeon, Julie wasn't that friendly to anyone in the time she lived under the shed. And although she was astray when he found her, Gullah later revealed that it seemed as though someone had taken in the cat, at least for some time. Someone must have taken care of her. Her fur was soft. There's a problem with her tail, but it doesn't look like she's banged up or anything, Gullah said. And in Indiana's cold winter climate, that care could very well have saved Julie's life. I'm wondering about what Angel cared for her at some point, because we've had some rough winters, Gullah said. Fortunately, it would be him who would care for her from then on. He took Julie home after finding her that day. The last thing to do was to reintroduce Julie to her feline brother, Jack. But Gullah couldn't do that right away. A vet had to give her the all clear before the cats could be reintroduced. 
In the meantime, Gullah quarantined her at his house. As he settled back into life with his long-lost cat, Gullah told Fox 59 it was just crazy to have Julie home again. It's almost like seeing a ghost or something, he added. For many who read about Julie's return, the tale gave them both happiness and hope. Readers also felt gracious for those who had looked after Julie along the way. Commenter Roseanne wrote, The biggest thank you to the amazing people who took care of Julie. She was so fortunate to have found loving people who cared about a little black stray. And furthermore, the cat was lucky to still have people at home who loved her and happily took her back after six long years.